Okay, so I just wanted to talk about um, briefly about sutures uh, today. Um, so you have um, a suture here that we'll use as an example to demonstrate how to uh, look at sutures. So when you get a suture from, um, from somewhere, one of the first things you need to, if you want to use a suture that is, one of the first things you need to look at what what suture have you got so in this case we've gotten an example of a um, like a cut gut so this is a cut gut um, a chromic cut gut uh, suture um we know that um and it's written on the on the pack there that chromic cut gut is absorbable so this is an absorbable suture it will be where we've placed it, it will be there for maybe uh, seven to ten days. After that, uh, it gets hydrolyzed, the body absorbs it. And um, so we need to put this kind of suture where we think uh, that uh, it won't be needed uh, there in the next uh, ten or so days. So that is about the absorbable, uh, this type of absorbable suture. Then we can see that we have a um, two zero there. This is how um, the thickness of the thread is written as. So sutures can be size one, uh, can be size two, can be size zero, uh, but they can also be size um, uh, two zero. They can be three zero. They can be four zero. They can be five zero. So. Um, uh, two zero being bigger than three zero and three zero being bigger than four zero and four zero being bigger than five zero. But when you have a number one, a number zero is smaller than a number one, a number one is bigger than a number zero, a number two is bigger than a number one. So that's what you need to look at. That symbolizes the size of the thread. So you just have to look at the thread and um, see uh, how a two zero looks like, how a three zero zero looks like, how a four zero looks like. Then we have this number there, uh, the 90 centimeters. That one is the length of the thread. So the whole thread that you have inside this pack would be about um, 90 centimeters. So that's really a long suture, almost uh, close to one meter. Then, of course, there's the manufacturing date, there's an expiry date there which is not what we are talking about, but that's important because um, that might speak to the strength of the suture. Then in the middle here, we have um, the shape of the needle. So the shape of the needle can be in various uh, shapes. It can be half a circle. It can be three eighths of a circle. It can be five eighths of a circle. Um, so, you need to decide what amount of curvature you need in the needle. So needles that are like open, three eight, half, uh, these ones, um, and and this needle, if you see, um, uh, is also round bodied, and the length of the needle from the tip to the other end is um, is about four point five. Uh, centimeters so you choose the curvature depending on where you're operating if you're operating in a tunnel in a small space then you don't want a needle that is wide open you want something that has a curvature that is a bit um, closed uh, like that so this is a half circle needle it's round body so it round body means that it's not cutting, it's not reverse cutting, it's not cutting, it's just round bodied. It means that it just perforates the tissue, it doesn't cut through the tissue, it just goes through and perforates the tissue. So it means that if you are using fragile tissue, uh, suturing through fragile tissues, you don't want to use a um, cutting one, you want to use a round one that is not traumatizing to the tissue, it's just perforating uh, the tissue. So that's about the suture. So we know this is chromic cut cut. It's absorbable. It means that it will be absorbed, hydrolyzed in the next 10 um, days, maximum 14 days. We know that the length of the thread is 90 centimeters. We know that it's a half circle in shape. We know that it's round body, so it will not cut through the tissue which we are suturing. And the length of the needle from the tip to the other end is 4.5 centimeters. So this is a relatively uh, big needle.
So we can look at another suture. Uh, the next suture we look at is, um, this is like Vicryo uh, suture. So this, as we can see, is a number two. We said we can have a number zero, we can have a number one, we can have a number two. And so this is a very, very big um, thread. The thickness is big. And um, then it's absorbable, but this one is not like chromic. It's delayed absorbable. So it's um, staying where you've put it. It can be there uh, from 30 days, uh, depending on the... Um, a brand maybe even up to 60 days so 30 to 60 days it's going to be there this is a big size size 2 we can see that um, the length of the thread is um, 75 centimeters we can see that it's braided meaning that it's a monofilament there's more than one filament that have been braided together and sometimes when we talk about braided sutures we are we are uh, we speak about infection. So when you are suturing somewhere where there's likely going to be infection, you don't want to use a braided suture normally. You want to use a mono uh, monofilament, a suture that has only one thread, not more than one thread um, uh, put together. Then um, this is also a half circle needle. It's reverse cutting. It's not cutting. It's reverse cutting, so it means it's less traumatic than a cutting needle. So in a place where you don't want so much trauma, but you want to easily suture, this is the, um, the needle you can use. And then we can see that the length of the needle from the tip to the other end is 4 millimeters. So this is uh, about 4 centimeters, which is a, a smaller or a shorter needle than the previous uh, one that we looked at for the chromic cut gut. Then um, we have another suture. Uh, this is a silk. A silk, as opposed to what we have looked at, is non-absorbable. So wherever you are putting it, it's not going anywhere. It will always be there. The body cannot hydrolyze it. The body cannot absorb it. So this particular suture is zero. So we know that it's smaller. The thickness of the thread is smaller than the previous one we, we looked at, which was um, which was a two. So the Vicry was a two. This silk is a number zero, so it's uh, smaller than the other one. Then we can see the length of the thread is 75 centimeters, just the same as the Vicry, but it's shorter than the chromic that we looked at. The thread for the chromic was 90 centimeters. So before you use it, you even know the length of the thread you are going to use and you know if it's enough or not. Then, of course, we have an expiry date here and the manufacturing date. Then again, you know that it's a half circle needle, so you won't be surprised. It's a half a circle needle. It's round body, so it's a traumatic. It will just perforate uh, the, um, the tissue you are, you are trying to suture, and it will not cut it. Yeah, so that's that. Then the length of the of the needle itself from the tip to the other end is uh, four centimeters as well. So that's about silk, it's non-absorbable, it's braided, so it's multi-filament, lots of filaments, lots of threads put together. So when you're expecting infection, this is not a very good suture to, uh, to use because um, then all those uh, places where the, uh, the, the, the multiple sutures are coming together since they are braided act as a need us um, was a hiding place for infection so that is about um, this uh, particular suture so all these sutures are sterile and they should be opened in a sterile manner when they are being given to the uh, to the team so the inside there is sterile so uh, it should be kept sterile and then the last suture we'll talk about and the last common suture we use that we'll talk about is nylon so nylon is um, like you can see here it's monofilament meaning that there's only one thread uh, that is there it's not multi-filament it's just one thread meaning that it's a good suture for places where you are uh, thinking that uh, you need a suture to stay long or to be permanent and then um, you also see that this is a two zero so this is um, 
Maths is the same as the cut cut. The cut cut was a two zero, but we need just to know that a three zero will be smaller than a two zero, and a four zero will be smaller than a three zero. And um, we have seen that it's like we've already said it's non-absorbable, and um, yeah, so it will be there uh, for a while. It won't it won't get absorbed. Um, it's sterile, and then we can see that it's a half circle as well. The length of the needle is four centimeters and it's it's round bodied the length of the thread is um, 75 centimeters so that's how to read um, details on a suture and that's how to generally determine what um, suture you are going to use for what the other general rule for using sutures is that we need to know that sutures are foreign bodies and therefore you need to use the smallest suture that can do the job. Yeah, we don't want to use a number two where a two zero can work. So you need to decide for what the specific thing that you're doing, what's the smallest suture that can effectively do the job. And that's the suture that you use. Don't just pick any suture, it's chromic let me suture, because we know that um, sutures are foreign bodies they can promote infection once infection sets in. So the smaller they are, the better for the, uh, for the body tissues. So uh, that's the last suture that we wanted to talk about. Thank you for listening and see you in the next one.